Hello everyone, it's Kylie from Kiwi the Planner Girl and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a quick walkthrough of this new Recollection Spiral Bound Planner. One of my friends recently picked up one of these bad boys and after seeing it for myself, I knew I had to get one too. So the first page you see when you open this planner up is the usual This Planner Belongs To page where you're able to write in your name and I will be doing this at a later time. The next page is the year at a glance page and you have one for both 2017 and 2018. Next you have an important dates page for 2017 and 18 where you can write in birthdays and other special events you know you have coming up later in the year. After this you have a contacts page and I honestly don't think I'll be using this page at all. So this planner is an 18 month dated planner and the first month we start out with is July. Now this is the monthly overview page for July and it is a lot bigger than my Carpe Diem monthly insert planner and I am super excited to start using this because now I have a lot more space. Next you have your weekly view and the type of planner I picked up is the vertical insert one and there is also horizontal and an hourly one as well. Now many of you that have an Erin Condren might see that this is a really good dupe for an Erin Condren life planner. I have never owned an Erin Condren planner because they are extremely expensive, but the layout is almost exactly alike. You have your vertical boxes with the colored header, and then you have some empty space on the side to put things such as your habit trackers and weekly to-dos. So now I'm just going to quickly show you the monthly tabs for the rest of this planner, and I will be back with you guys in just a little bit. So the last tab that we have here is a notes tab that has some line note pages and then we're also given some grid paper as well. Now the interesting thing about this planner is that you are given some stickers in the back of it and this resembles an Erin Condren as well. So the first page of stickers we have are header stickers that say day off, vacation, happy hour, etc. And then the next page of stickers are some flag stickers, some quarter box stickers, full boxes, and then some checklist strips as well. Now the third page of stickers are more fun. There are some cute banners and then um, that cute vacation banner at the bottom of the page and some quote stickers as well. Then the last page of stickers are some cute emoji stickers on the top quarter of the page and then we have some functional icons stickers underneath that. So after the stickers, we have this pocket folder where you can put in loose papers that you might need to carry around. And I'm definitely happy about this being in this planner because I usually always have one in any of my planners. So this is perfect for me. And then the final thing in this planner is this clear zipper pouch where you can keep loose stickers if you're on on the go kind of planner. And I don't think I'll be utilizing this much. But that's it guys, um, again this is the Recollection Spiral Bound Planner for 2017 to 2018, so thank you guys for watching and happy planning!